everyone it's hunter and welcome back to my channel it is currently the morning 9 30 i just got out of the bed but i did not just wake up i've been awake for like an hour now but today's video is going to be an interesting one something i've never done before i'm going to be going 24 hours without screens so i'm going without my phone ipad computer kindle and the tv and i'm also not going to be wearing my apple watch because that also has a screen and it gives me my notifications i spend anywhere between five to seven hours a day on just my phone and the 15 to 18 hours that i am awake every day that's a good chunk of the day and that's just on my phone and i work on my computer and my ipad plus i spend leisure time on my ipad so i spend probably 90 percent of my day looking at a screen so i thought it would be a fun video to kind of go the whole day without my screens so this is gonna be fun the time is now 9 34 so i guess i'll be finished at like 9 30 tomorrow uh for my 24 hour technology screen fast if you will so i am i don't know how this is gonna go i made a list of chores that i needed to get done today i need to do some housework that i have been neglecting because i've been on my computer doing a lot of work i have been trying to get like ahead on all my videos and stuff so i haven't really been doing any kind of chores around the house so the laundry needs to be done there's just like a bunch of random things that need to be done so there's that and then I am also gonna try to make a dent in my physical reading uh, list. I'm actually gonna start doing that now. The first thing I'm gonna, oh, I almost knocked over my chair. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually just go to my room and read a book. Actually, I'm gonna get some cereal and take my book downstairs. Change of plans. I'm still going downstairs and I'm still gonna read while I eat breakfast, but I am not going to just sit around and read. I'm going to take care of my chores list first so I can get that out of the way. And that means that I'll be able to to, like once everything is done I'll be able to just like chill and read so that is my current plan I'm gonna have some Cheerios for breakfast it's actually the Aldi brand of Cheerios also the only screen I'm gonna be using is my camera because my camera has a screen on it <laughs> Okay, breakfast is done. I got to a stopping point in the book so that I can start on the chores. So let's get started. We've been dancing through the world alone lately. We've been trying just to make it through everything. So out of place, feel so, feel so out of place right here. I won't walk away, I won't, I won't walk away. Don't okay, I'm in my room now. No idea what time it is. I finished all of my chores except for putting the laundry away because I can't do that until it's finished in the washing machine and the dryer. It just got even darker in here. I don't want to open the blinds because I don't want it to get darker in here, but I mean to get warmer in here, but yeah, I'm in here now and I should clean up my room because there's some stuff. I can make up the bed. I can close away, but I'll wait until the laundry is done. Go downstairs, bring the clothes back up here so that I can put them away. And then that'll be all the chores done for the day other than cleaning my room. So I I'm just gonna chill in my room for a little bit and hope for the best. So I was laying in bed reading and I accidentally fell asleep. So that's good. Love that for me. Bring the first load of laundry up here and then come upstairs and shower. Okay, I went downstairs and I emptied the dishwasher and I got the first load of clothes out of the dryer. So I have them up here with me. So I figured I would just do them real quick. So laundry, messy bed. All of this will be clean in three, two, one. Clean, no laundry, bed made, time to shower. Ta-da, I'm showered, clean hair. I have real clothes on. I'm sure the clothes that are in the dryer are done, but I don't wanna do them quite yet. I was in the shower, think, like when I was washing my hair, I was literally thinking about like the videos that I have to film for the future and also just like planning for April. So I'm actually gonna go into my office and grab a notebook and start writing stuff down. Normally I would like type it out, but with no screens today, I'm just gonna use a pen and paper, so. Let's head in there. Clearly, my life revolves around my screens because screen. There we go. I'm gonna move the keyboard out of the way. Okay, here is what I'm working with. Here is March. I pretty much scheduled 
and filmed everything except for one video and it's only the 17th so that's good I have like all of next week's videos totally filmed so now let's look at April let's see what we're working with right now I only have the stuff that I normally would do my April reset what I read in March and April favorites so I have got to figure out what I'm doing okay a little bit later I finished planning for April there's still a couple more videos that I need to fill in but I don't know what to do for those yet and maybe like something will happen in the next couple of months I don't know like I mean like vlog wise maybe hang out with a friend or something and spontaneously vlog so I just wanted to leave a few spaces open for that so now I'm gonna go back to reading I'm now on chapter four the book I'm reading is Girl A by Abigail Dean I've been wanting to read this forever and I saw that they had this at Barnes and Noble buy one get one 50 percent off so I grabbed it whenever it was in that sale so I'm just gonna read this is a really long chapter so I don't know how long it's gonna take me I am a little bit hungry I feel like I want to snack but maybe I'll wait a little bit finished the fourth chapter of the book so now I'm moving on to chapter five. There are 342 pages. Oh, my hair looks like a mess. There are 342 pages in this book and I'm at 191. So I'm a little over halfway there. Here it is. I'm really hoping I can start another book today, but I do need to put some makeup on and I also need to put the second load of laundry away because I haven't done that yet. I've taken it out of the dryer, but I haven't brought it upstairs or anything. I'm really hoping I can finish this book today because I want to move on to the next book. I said one of my goals for this month was to read as many physical books as I read ebooks and I was doing okay in the beginning and then I kind of failed. I don't know which ones. I've read two. This is the third physical book and I've this is book eight of the month so I've read five ebooks so that means I need to read two this one and then two additional ebooks to even it out for the month but of course I want to read more books this month than just 10 but I'm probably only gonna get to 10 this month. It's been a little bit of a slower month for me reading because I've been working a lot so I'm gonna get back to this book chapter five is literally so long do you see this this is chapter five it goes from page 190 to 257 and then this is two chapters together so chapter five is as long as chapter six and seven together so that's fun um i think i'm gonna go downstairs and do the laundry real quick and then put makeup on and then we'll go back to reading <laughs> Laundry is fully done, so go me. As I was coming, as I was, as I was about to come into this room to um, come do my makeup, I picked up my phone out of habit. Um, since I put it in the driving mode, it's not like letting me see any notifications, so I was not tempted to check any possible notifications because they weren't shown to me. But I would have been tempted if they would have been on the screen, but I grabbed it like I normally would. So that's fun. Just gotta let my makeup sponge. Going back to the office to do some makeup. Ugh. Okay. I really should take all of this out of the travel bag because I'm not traveling at the moment. Okay, I have two foundation shades. They look so similar. They literally look exactly the same on camera. And I'm not gonna lie, they almost look exactly the same in the bottle. This one is slightly more neutral, but they look almost exactly the same. So I'm gonna pour out as much as I can of this one. And then if I need any more, I'll get some from the other one. Sponge, where are you at? Here we go. I feel like I've been using the same makeup in every video I've ever done my makeup in. Obviously, it's changed since I started my channel almost six and a half, like six and a half years ago, almost seven years now. But I love this stuff. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This shade is 120 and then the other one that I used was, used is 125. The difference is the undertone. One is slightly more yellow on the undertone, but honestly, I can't really tell a difference. The only time I can really tell a difference is when I have a tan. So that's done. Um, I think I wanna wear eyeshadow today. I have not worn eyeshadow in a hot minute. Cool, all my brushes just fell. Um, I'm gonna use this. It's the Glossier uh, Sky Wash in the shade Terra, like terracotta. This stuff is like miracle working. I don't understand how it works, but it's a cream to powder. One of my fave makeup products that I own. You should put a little bit on and it's like the perfect color because it is like the color that I wear on my eyelids if I wear eyeshadow. Hula bronzer, I've been using this since I started wearing makeup. And then blush, I'm using a new blush. It's this one from Wet n Wild. The shade is Mellow Wine and it literally just says blush. It is literally so pigmented. It was a spur of the moment decision, which is why I got it from Walmart, which is why I got Wet n Wild because I probably would have gotten something different if I would have gone to like Ulta or even Target if I was at Walmart. It's literally so pigmented. Like, look at how bright that is. This is my fave affordable eyebrow product. 
I literally, ever since I got an eyelash curler, I cannot do mascara without it because my eyelids are just, I mean, my lashes are just like straight. <laughs> And there is some sort of construction going on near my house and I can hear it all day long, but it's annoying because I can't really see it that well. I can see it, but not that well. It's like, this is the back of my house. Like this is my window sill that the camera's sitting in and it's like that way. I'm assuming they're building some houses, but it's annoyingly loud. They obviously won't be doing it forever, but yesterday I was chilling in my bedroom and I heard a plane go over uh, my house and it was so loud I thought I was about to die. Like I literally thought this plane was about to crash right outside my dang window. It was so unbelievably loud, it terrified me. I don't live that far away from um, an international airport. I say it's an international airport. It's called an international airport, but it's more like a regional airport. It doesn't really fly to international places. It flies to, it flies to more places than regional airports, but not as many places as like the bigger airports. Um, so really loud. I kind of like my hair like this. I can't decide if I want to keep it like this, but I can certainly say that I look a hundred times better with makeup on. I am really terrible at blending in my foundation, so I hope I did an okay job of that. But Mason will be coming home soon. I don't know when, but he usually comes home or like leaves around five Ish. he does not have a specific work time he comes home it's just bothering me that like I don't know what the time is constantly because when I'm reading on my Kindle there's a clock on there I usually have my Apple watch on but I didn't wear it today because I didn't want to worry about getting any notifications and then when I'm on my computer and my phone and stuff I can just check the time whenever I want to and I'm really like I've been tapping my phone throughout the day to look at the phone I mean to look at the time but I'm like trying not to do that I hit my nightstand in my bedroom and that's where my Apple watch is and so the time came on on there earlier so that was helpful but I'm just so used to having the time and I don't have like anything that's not my phone or my Apple Watch. So I just realized I'm like so connected to everything all the time. Um, I would say not being on my phone has not been that difficult, but just like there are little things like convenience wise that I would love to be able to do that I can't do. So like I am getting a package in the mail. It's supposed to be tomorrow, but I want to like check the tracking to make sure it's still on track to get here tomorrow. I get my doorbell notifications from there and sometimes I can't hear the doorbell ring. So if someone rings the doorbell, I'm not going to be able to know that they're there. I don't know why our doorbell doesn't like go throughout our whole house. So it's just nice that I get a notification on my phone. Uh, I wanted to check the weather to see what the weather was going to be like because this time of year, the weather can be super deceiving. It can be gorgeous and sunny and beautiful outside and be cold or it can be super rainy and you think it's going to be cold and it's actually like really hot. So I wasn't sure what clothes to dress in, but I got dressed and then I went downstairs and I went outside and I felt the temperature. So it's just like really little things and like there have been things I've want to take a picture of today that I can't because... I'm not able to. I'm not super concerned about like scrolling through. Like I don't worry. I'm not worried about missing anything on TikTok or on Instagram because if I need to see it, I'll go look for it. If it's like a certain person and some people I have their notifications on so I can just go look at their profiles. So I'm not concerned about that, but it's just been weird in general, just like not being able to reach for it. But it has been nice because I've gotten stuff done without worrying about my phone. But also I've wanted to like play music and I haven't been able to do that. I do have my record player over there, but it's not plugged up. I have a couple of albums over here that I could play, but... It's only in this room. So anyway, just been a lot of silence in the background today. So anyway, I'm going to go back to reading my book until Mason gets home and then we'll see what happens after that. Okay, so it's actually beautiful outside. The birds are chirping so loudly. The temperature is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to sit on my front stoop while I read. I do wish I had like a chair or something to sit in, but that's okay. Wow, our lawn maintenance people need to come. Look how long the grass is. Also, we still have a Christmas garden flag up. I really need to get a new one. I'd love to take my bike somewhere also, but I don't. Tires need air, and I also don't have room in my car. I want to take it to like the Swamp Rabbit Trail in Greenville. Anyway, I'll shut up now and read. So I haven't found it to be too difficult without my phone until we went to dinner. We went to this place downtown. It was like a bunch of like food truck type restaurants and it was really good. But I sat in the backseat of the car and I get car seat in the backseat of the car. And I feel better whenever I'm like looking at something like focusing on something and there was nothing for me to focus on. So I did feel a tad sick. And then also while we were there, like I want to take pictures of stuff and I took some pictures of my camera, but it's, it's not the same. But yeah, it was a little weird not having my phone cause like everybody else is, you know, on their phone and like I couldn't even pull it out. It felt a little weird. And it's just weird. Like I'm thinking about all the emails that I'm going to have tomorrow. Not that they're going to be like super important emails, but someone texted me last night and I forgot to respond and I didn't do it this morning. And then someone else texted me this morning. I forgot to respond this morning. So I just like have to catch up on stuff stuff that I need to respond to and I hope people don't think I'm ignoring them. I'm gonna go back to reading my book now, but that's an update for you. So 
it is now 9 15 in the morning and um i forgot that i had an alarm set for nine o'clock like i literally have an alarm go off every single day at nine o'clock so i don't know why i forgot that it was on but i will say that this was this was easy until about like 6 30 last night and then I feel like it's been annoying and since then i i don't know i just feel like it's been really annoying since like 6 30 last night whenever i was home alone during the day and i was getting tours done and i was um reading and stuff that it wasn't annoying but i am so used to like reading in the bed i am so used to reading in the bed until i can't keep my eyes open any longer because i'm on my kindle and so when my husband's asleep i don't have to worry about like having the light on or anything and like i he like lays in bed and watches tiktok forever so i told him that whenever tiktok was when he was finished watching tiktok I can't stop yawning. I told him whenever he was finished watching TikTok to like let me know and I'd turn the light off and I'd go to sleep too. So I took melatonin and like I fell asleep fine. But now I'm just like itching to get my phone. Like I'm super anxious to get it because I'm thinking about all the emails and possible text messages. Uh, that was rough. Just like being cut off from the world. And again, I think it's like knowing that I'm out of contact with people when I'm gonna have like so much stuff going on. So yeah, that is all I have. Anyway, um, um, I feel like I've been rambling for like five minutes now and I you don't really care. So anyway, that's gonna be the conclusion of this video. I'm gonna go grab my phone and check out my notifications and that I'm not overwhelmed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!